words in motorsport. Drivers, start your engines! They come down to the line, green flag goes in the air, two by two as they head off into turn number one. That's Passion Performance Podium, SimRayCity.com. Everybody, good evening to you. Gentlemen, ladies, we're back at it. We've got two races this evening. Uh, first of all, we're going to be at Watkins Glen with the boot configuration. Uh, we're going to be in GT3 only cars, GT3 rain enabled cars only. And we're going to run 30 minutes. That'll kick us off here in about 14 minutes. So if you want to join, your password is the Glen. You'll see it over there on the right hand side of your screen. Come join us and let's take these uh, hot rods for a spin. Again, it's going to be a 30-minute race. Uh, race number two tonight. It, we're back in the NASCAR next. Excuse me, NASCAR Gen 6 cars. We're going to do that. It's been a while since we've been there. California's Auto Club Speedway, the 2.0-mile track out there in Fontana, California, or used to be in Fontana, California. But nonetheless, uh, that's what we're running this evening. It's going to be a 65-lap feature event for that one. Uh, should have a lot of fun. Well, thank you for tuning in. Uh, sit back, relax. Let's have a good time. Before we do that, I do want to say thank you to the guys and gals who support us most. Stay caught up on our racing schedule at the underscore flying aces on X or on Discord. There's a link in the description below. Are you ready for premium sim race equipment? SimRaceCity.com features leading brands to meet your budget and sim racing needs. Use Flying Aces TV as your promo code at checkout to save 5% off your order. Passion, performance, podium. SimRaceCity.com for all your AR-15 needs. Check out AR15Parts.com. Save 10% off your order with the promo code FLYINGACESTV. Are you ready to upgrade your current gaming PC? Check out the Ford Entertainment Group at FEGCustomPC.com. Formula One specs at street stock prices. Need race winning open setups on iRacing? Check out the official Coca-Cola iRacing eNASCAR setup supplier at McConey Setup Shop. Save 10% off your order with promo code Flying Aces TV. I want to thank Race Lab for providing us with our live stream standings, track map, and other useful racing widgets. If you're a live streamer or simply a sim racer, check out Race Lab. Looking for NASCAR diecast or NASCAR merchandise? Check out Plan B Sales or Circle B diecast. Save five dollars off your order of thirty dollars or more with the promo code Flying Aces TV. Could walk away with $100 tonight, courtesy of Buddy Steele and Miss Mandy's Christian Daycare in Brandon, Mississippi. Drivers must win two races, have the Team Racers for Christ or a similar faith based logo on both race winning cars, and have an I rating of 3,000 or less at tonight's feature race to win the prize. All right, all right. That is our information for this evening. Again, I want to thank you for tuning in. I uh, hope we have a good time this evening. Should be a fun, fun uh, two races, uh, both. Uh, Fairly popular as far as uh, what people request. So here we are, Watkins Glen Race 1. The Glen is your password. And again, for race number two, NASCAR Gen 6 Cup Cars. We're going to do that at California's Auto Club Speedway. We want to welcome in PM3, our pole sitter this evening. Tank 2, Martin Fallon, Spasm. Uh, thank you guys very much for being channel members. We want to welcome in Racer Kid number 9. Good evening, Guichi. It was a pleasure meeting you at Bristol, by the way. Uh, Kyle Buchanan, there he is. Uh, we have Daniel Berry Sports Highlight. Uh, Trapping Diablo, good evening. Elmer, or excuse me, Elm Kneer, uh, good evening to you. Wish YouTube uh, that a boy. Uh, that's one of them Boyles brothers. I can't remember which one exactly. Uh, let's see. Who, great champion. Good evening to you, buddy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get out here to the Finger Lakes region. Uh, let's see, specifically, specifically, we are at Watkins Glen, New York, okay? That's the name of the town, not just the track, but the town itself. All right, uh, let me find that. There we go, there we go. Here we are. All right, we got our race set up in. It is going to ra rain between sessions here. Uh, that That is a given. And the race will start at 4 o'clock sim time. And you can, uh, maybe you can see here in the bottom right hand part on my relative, it's going to rain at 3 o'clock. So uh, after this session is over, we'll have an hour break in sim, of course, and it will rain. Uh, I don't know how wet the track will be once we get back out here. But everybody is privy to this information 
uh, right there in your weather box. All right, let me see which tires I've got on. We're in dries. Let me go ahead and put some wets on this thing and get out here and see what we can do. We have unmuted everybody. Come on now, we're trying to get request new car. I've got the frozen button up here. The wait. I just want to get out on the racetrack. Hmm. I'm not sure what's up. I'm ready to race. No, no, no. I don't want to end my qualifying run. Anyway, uh, lap times. Uh, David Griffin at the 146. I was at a 150. And that was on some dry tires. Taking it very, very easily. So let's get in here if it'll let me. I'm having to wait. This is racing. Nobody likes to wait. Good evening, Ogre. The Limb Machine. Evening to you. Good deal, racer kid. Absolutely. I've got to be able to, to race finally. Yeah, good to see you. James, Cato, any credits left? Yes, uh, we got... Uh, let, me, let me check here. Got two remaining. One of them belongs to James Cato. James Cato. Uh, via, we'll put that down strictly stock motorsports. All right, let's go qualify. What is the deal? Waiting on a response to a prior request. Yeah, well, I'm waiting too. Everyone else is getting a join, but I am not. What is the deal here? This is a replay of my a previous lap I've ran, but I want to hop in the race car. There we go. Still not letting me. Tell you what, I'm going to quit this session. We're going to bounce out and hop back in. I don't know why it wouldn't let me in the race car. Got a big sizable field here. Looks Looking like uh, 20 plus drivers. Maybe a couple handful more here or there. Uh, while I am waiting, I will go over here and settle the score with James Cato. Uh, we'll look for personal credits first. And uh, we see uh, we'll go to Strictly Stock. That is going to leave Strictly Stock Motorsports with 36 race credits available to be used. So, James Cato, into the big show this evening. All right, we, have, we do have one more spot remaining. If anybody does need it, it is available. Charles Kohler, good evening, bud. And Busy Child, evening to you. Uh, Pri Pyro, Pyrobi. No, Pyrobite 3, Pyrobite 3. The bacon is surging through my veins. Hey, everybody loves a good, uh, good piece of bacon. All right, again, we're loading in here again for the second time, trying to get in and uh, get in my race car. Drew Chester, everybody. Good evening, Drew. Well, I'll be dang. Sorry we're in Vegas in the ARCA car tonight. Ooh, best of luck to you there. Uh, who was that? That was Bruce Lair, I think. Yeah, that was Bruce. Good luck to you, Bruce. Now, let's get out here and qualify. Race trim. I want to make sure I'm on wet tires. Apply that. Because I want to see what it's like. You're on a wet tire. Yes, I am. Yes, I am on a wet tire. And I'm okay with that. If I can get this down in the 140s, I'm going to start on wet tires. It doesn't turn as well, and I think it's obvious. It doesn't turn as well on wet tires. I'm sorry, Vincent. You're all good. Yeah, again, it was a absolute pleasure meeting Vincent and his mother yeah, sorry there, at Bristol. It was a couple weeks ago. Oh, boy. I am so sorry, Rev. Snapped it, boys. Snapped it. 
try this again. Now it's going to be like 80 degrees between sessions. It's going to rain for, it's scheduled for about 15 minutes and then 45 minutes of drying. So I don't know whether we start on wets or dry. It's not supposed to rain during the race, but just in between races. It's already rained before qualifying started. same place I spun it last time I think it's wet tires wet tires is the reason for that uh, I think the tire temperatures are up I don't think that's a problem let's go ahead and put dries on it we're gonna race with dry tires and if I have to come in if I have to come in so be it and put on uh, wet tires I don't think we will have to uh, we're 21 laps it's gonna be mighty close on the fuel for this one. We're at 50% fuel. I'm gonna get a blend line violation, I bet. You got yeah, it. Yeah, I knew it. All right, this is another little challenge for the day. Remember the blend line? They want us to have a pass through after we go green. I never even asked. Is the audio okay? I've got my I've got my external speakers. There we go. I forgot I had my external speakers plugged in. I was watching baseball earlier this afternoon. And I never even checked to see if the audio was coming through the the live stream or not. Can I get a quick thumbs up as far as audio through the live stream has it been an issue the comments I was reading I didn't see anything all good thank you kindly spasm thank you We got a pretty, pretty large field going on here. Top ten. We're gonna make. We're gonna get us top ten this evening. Both races. Top tens. Successful evening. Thank you very much. Thank you, Gray. Appreciate that. Appreciate what you got. Thank you, Richard.
Hey, JW, I'll be back down in that room after this race. Big Tim, for copy that. We will have uh, Flying Aces Cam for race two. Billy is going to run in this race. Oh, it is starting to rain. I did not realize that. It is starting to rain. It's actually coming down pretty good. Now, we're going to have an hour from right now until we grid up. So, got to make a decision here. It's now a wet session. It is a wet session. All right. Whew. It's going to rain, right? It's going to rain. It's sun's going to come out. It's going to be really hot and windy. So, good chance track's going to be dry. Good chance it's going to be dry. Good evening, Cody Burke. Vape and Bachelor, everybody. Uh, engine and sim volume could be louder, but I just like to hear pedal. Ah, oh, we can turn it up a little bit. It's it's per car, right? It's per car, the engine audio. So we'll turn that engine up just a little bit. Turn that main volume up just a little bit. Uh, the chat, we'll turn that up. Ambient is the air in car. We go right there a little bit. Wind, you don't don't care much about that. Tires, you don't care a whole lot about that. All right, there we go. We turned it up a little bit. Absolutely. All right, we got 40 seconds. We got 40 seconds until we grid them up. And again, actually, we got two minutes now until we grid them up. Uh, it is currently. It is currently a four o'clock sim time, four o'clock sim time, and you can see here, zero percent chance of rain. It's supposed to be clear. It's already rained at three o'clock. I think we're going to be good. The track might be a little damp, but I think we start on dry tires. I think that's the way we go, and got to decide. Or I gotta gotta determine, are we gonna have enough fuel to make it to the end? I do have the McConey setup shop, Watkins Glen set up in this one. We'll see how much fuel they can give us. We're gonna put the gloves on. We did not get to go through the paint schemes. I apologize for that. Let me make sure that we do have dry tires. And the fuel. Where is the fuel on this? Is it under tires? Is it under chassis? Give me one moment here. Let me find the fuel. I want to make sure it's up all the way. Fuel level everywhere. 13.7. Yep. She's all the way at the top. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and grid. Man, massive, absolutely massive right field here. Uh, at least 25 guys, the I think. The estimated strength of field is 1,278. All right, guys, we got a lot of people in our pit box. So just double check all your equipment. Look at everything. Make sure all the wheel covers are on the wheels. Don't want to lose any lug nuts or anything like that. Got 30 that. people in this Christine, race. Sure this is going to be nuts. We start getting into pit stops and whatnot. We absolutely people nuts. 30 people. Can do their jobs. 30 people at Watkins Glen. This might be our biggest, might be the biggest road race we've had. Non outside, outside of speed weeks, non speed weeks related. I'm excited. I'm excited. What's up, Joe Cogburn? Evening to you. Michael Smithy kids. Right, we need to be behind the 25. Should be lining up behind the 93. You should be behind the 29. All right, gentlemen, we got 30 minutes of racing action. We do have a faster pair if needed. Best of luck to all competitors. Just take a second here while we're cruising around. Get a look at your switches. Make sure you understand where everything is. Please. I think we should be behind the 19. Face cars off. Be ready. Be ready. All right, track is a bit Maybe damp. Maybe drive tires was a bad idea. 
Green flag. I'm on them too, Wheeler. But I think it's just the spray. I don't think it's. I'm on them too. You're on a dry tire. I think we're okay. What are you thinking, Harrison? Oh my gosh! D David, David, I lost it. Okay, I didn't. Not, not thinking anything. See my man, you put it on. Good job, there, on the room. Clear. You're a little too aggressive, is what's going on. That was nothing aggressive Run about it. Okay, it's open. raining. I was on slick tires. Okay. Come on, Come on, God back. bless, boys. Yeah, you tried to cross me over, and you clipped my rear bumper, and you spun me. Okay, get over it. It's just a race. All right, I made a mistake. You don't have to drive it into the ground. Everyone knows it's my... Everyone knows it's my, my error. I mean, geez, we know this. It just pisses me, it just pisses me off because I spent all that time getting the pole. Who was that on the uh, back stretch? I don't know, uh, but they were was slow. Was able to turn? Woo! I mean, yeah, it's customary right. no. too. I wonder, right too. I wonder, no. right too. Clear, clear, clear. Oh, boy. Clear. Okay, okay. Lesson learned. Yeah, but you're you're acting like I'm supposed to let it go. Lesson learned. Oh, yeah, a lot I of mean, us. I mean, in the grand scheme oh, of things, it's just a race on a lot of us. Thursday night. A lot of I mean, us, same thing. We don't get that upset about, do we? You can practice better race craft, that's why. Or, I mean, it's my second wet race. They just introduced the rain like a couple weeks ago, so. Then you start from the back and practice. No, I'm not doing that. Run in, keep your eye open. Steve, what's for dinner? Run you, he's moving. Thank you, James, I'll just say that. All right, we got to drive smart here until we we get the racing Why line right out. Like helping. Yeah, car's really pushing due to the wet conditions. The track itself is not too wet. It's just got a a fine film on it, I guess you would say. It's going to continue to dry, continue to dry, and continue to dry. She really pushed right there. Left side. Clear, clear. You can see this part of the track is almost 100% dry. I think the boot part is what is a bit on the moist side. Yeah, we're seeing that. There's several cars who have spun. This is where we overdrove it last last time around. There we go. We'll back that up. Yeah, she's pushing quite a bit. Pitting in, pitting in. All right, 13 laps of fuel. That should be about 20 plus minutes. Unbelievable. Come on. Crap. All right, next time by we're gonna come down 
fuel it up, get the fast repair and go. On the left side. Clear. The curbing is slick. I think I got my right or left rear tire on the curbing. Hey John, what tires are you on? Front end, keep your eye open. Dry. He ain't scared. Speed 1, get us the fastest car on the racetrack, 54.819. Speed 11, get us the fastest car on the track, 54.564. I think I'm just going to go ahead and ride it out and maybe make it on fuel. I don't feel like I've lost a ton of speed. Car is pinned behind us. A long way to go to get to that top ten spot. I, is the fastest car on the track there. I want one point three eight. All right, so today is opening day in Major League Baseball. Guys behind you, catch the just a little bit left. I hope your team, unless it's the Cubs, did better than mine. My Redbirds took a punch to the to the jaw. M Dodgers, they're no joke. P17 is the fastest car on the track. 49.876. That was a good lap. Car just pitted behind you. When you catch me, Daryl, I'll let you buy. I got wheel damage. Sorry, Rick. I didn't realize we were that close to the top. Oh, no worries, buddy. I'm wondering here if Dave has still got damage. P2 is the best car on the track. 
Dave, do you still have damage? Or you might be managing fuel. No, I'm on wet. It's at 100% rain. It's now a dry fish. It was 100% rain at 3 o'clock. Session is now at 4 o'clock. That was a good lap. Alright, so Dave is on wet tires. P19 is the best turn the tractor. 48.37. Which may not have been a bad idea to start out. I know I paid the price a little bit being on dry tires. Once again, David, I'm sorry, so obviously that was all me. I don't doubt you're sorry, it's just the way you did it. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to do anything, I was just trying to survive because I was on split. We'll talk about it when the race is over, not when we're driving. Pass me, you're trying to, you know, I wasn't really trying to pass me, just kind of trying to get out of the danger zone of that first corner. We'll talk about it when the race is over. But Harrison, I thought it was in the past. I'm trying to be friendly and not piss somebody off, Vincent. So yes, it's in the past. I'm trying to like make peace, you know. I always you're making everybody else mad though. Apologize, you know, something that I you know. Well, that was a great lap, bud. Keep it up. All right, so we got 17 minutes remaining. We're about halfway done with this one. P18 is the fastest car on the tractor. I'll tell you, once that track drives out and you got wets on, it's just like you're in a sled. True. It's the same as if you're on dries in the wet as well. Appreciate it. No problem. P23 is the best car on the tractor. 46.51. Inside! <laughs> Remember that? Yeah, not right here. Take it inside here, Alan. He's a lot faster than I am. Well, that was a great lap, bud. Keep it up. And it's such a good-looking Porsche. Thanks, Tito. Yeah, buddy. I'll see you all. I'm going to go run down like the low Oh you my! See it, you see it, you see it, you see it. Sorry about On that. On your right. Clear. P19 
is the fastest car on the tractor. 46.327. Inside here, Joe. Right side. Clear, clear, clear. Roger. Copy. Thirteen or fourteen minutes remaining. And I've got eight laps left. I should be able to make it. I know some of these guys have already pitted for fuel. Dang man, I thought, I thought I'd be able to pick by that. The gap two point one. T twenty is the best part of the tractor. Forty six point one zero seven. I would have followed you, Dago. I like following you better. It's a good looking paint scheme. I love it. I like looking at it. Thanks, good. I do know that Alan is racing from the Simray City headquarters this evening. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's his first race from the headquarters. Hey, Rick. You got it, Billy. We have climbed to 15th. We'll see how high we can get. Great lap. I do have some damage. Decided not Looks to come down pit road. I think I can make it all the way to the end on fuel. I'm hoping that gets me a top 10. We've climbed to 13th. Why are you 
been fishing so hard, you're nine seconds ahead. We are nine minutes remaining. Corey Vaughn on to pit road for fuel, I'm assuming. Hey baby, I need a couple more laps like that last one. Car is pinned behind us. Guys are running 47.657. Keep on digging, bud. We're going to be pitting in five. We're going to pit in five. Chad, we are not pitting. We have made our bed. We ain't pitting. I have 4.8 laps remaining. P16 is the fastest car on the racetrack. 45.703. So Corey pitted, Corey Vaughn. I've maintained my lead over him. I don't know if he took tires or not. Probably just a splash of fuel. Still 30 seconds ahead of Prohaska, so I'm, I'm comfortable there. I think the top 10 are probably good on fuel, if I'm guessing. Three laps remaining of fuel. Forty-eight 
four and a half minutes remaining. We're gonna make it on fuel. All right, I have got the fuel low indicator. And I think I've got enough fuel to push a little bit. Maybe be able to catch Jesse Rossby. Pitting, pitting, pitting. T15 is the fastest car on the racetrack. 45.395. Hey James, this is position for you. I'll let you go. Yeah, I'll probably pass it right here. I just didn't want to uh, mess with you and Rick since it was poor position. Yeah, appreciate it, man. Go to front. All right, Rick has come out three seconds behind me. I gotta try to hold him off. Hey Harper, aren't you the guy that reported me the last time we were here? Hey. Well, I don't care, I just won. No, that wasn't good up to be honest. Appreciate it. I didn't miss y'all up when I wrecked the whole Might be pinned here in a couple of laps, just be aware. No, you didn't. You're all good. It don't matter anyway. All good. Thank you, though. I meant to give him a bump. I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to turn him. Just a little second, mate. A little bumper business. I got you. He was talking smack in the Discord, so I figured I'd rough him up a little bit. It turned out uh, not how I planned. We as racers have to put on a show. That's one way to do it. We're going to get the white flag. No, we're not. It's going to be two more laps. That last lap that you ran there, that was really, really nice. I don't know if I got enough fuel now. Try to conserve a bit. I think that's what Jesse is doing in front of me. Show us that white flag. A 
Hustle around a pit. Hustle around a pit this time. I'm gonna have to. White flag this time. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe not. Be smooth, baby. Go get a few. Pretty sure Rick Another is going to catch on, me. Keep Keep her. The gap five point two. Don't mess up on this last curve up here. I ain't got Five. enough fuel to burn it down, but let's go. Still there. Clear by half. Oh, we're not going to have enough. Of course. Not God bless. Did, that was terrible. Oh, unbelievable. Now I'm out of fuel. Now I'm out of fuel. God bless. Well, the race is over. I don't know where I finished. Thank you, thank you. Uh, good race. Have a good one. God bless. All right, I finished 10th. I don't know how I did that. I don't know how I did that. I did not see the checkered flag come out. So I did have enough fuel. I don't understand that. But I'm good with it. Daryl, good win. Thank you, sir. It took long enough. Outstanding job. Take it on fuel, Daryl. Uh, I was sputtering coming across the line. I, I I don't know how I made it on fuel. I got the one to go. I feel like Chase Elliott right right now. And I had like half a lap left. I have no idea. It's not feeling like Denny Hamlin. So I didn't get lapped. That's for I one. I beat your favorite driver. So I can't figure yeah, out how I, I, I remained on here. the lead lap and did not run out of fuel. Womp womp. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, it was a perfect storm spasm, no doubt. That was dramatic, <laughs> yes. Holy crap. Yeah, Drew, somehow I made it, man. And so did Daryl Mays. Daryl Mays, our race winner in this uh, beautiful white Porsche, getting the shove here from Michael Boyles. Good run, Alan. Daryl, can you refresh me? Do you have a Twitter account? I do, but I kind of forgot the login. Ten four on the forgetting the login, but you don't remember the actual account name. You don't have to uh, remember the login. I'll have to look into it. Uh, I'll go through the YouTube stream and uh, let you know. Copy that would be appreciated. If not, that's okay too. And I very well may have it. I'm not sure. But this is Daryl Mays. Let's go back. I think it's Matthew Mays. I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. I might not. I might be lying or joking, not lying. Copy. Copy that on the uh, lying copy or whatever. There he is. He's sputtering. JW, I thought you were going to catch me. You didn't have a hood, and I didn't have a wing on the back. It was like the battle of the wrecked. Yeah, it was almost a disaster for me, but I had last lap and a half, I really had to save fuel, and somehow I made it. Don't I couldn't tell you how, but I did, and so I had to back way off of you. I thought Rick was going to catch me. But nonetheless, kids, this... I was coast coasting that whole last lap, and again, like I said, it was sputtering as I was going across the line. Yeah, you can hear it. You can hear it. I had to run real high gears there yeah. at the end to get it on fuel. Yeah. I thought Rick for certain was going to catch me. But ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, Daryl Mays. I think his name is Matthew. Perhaps the Daryl might be a dad name. I'm not sure. But that is going to be our race-winning photograph. That is... Daryl Mays, everybody, in that beautiful white Porsche GT3. Hopefully he can find the Twitter handle. Let me take a quick screen grab of this. 
We'll tweet that unit out here in about uh, an hour and a half's time. Maybe more, maybe more. Depends on how long our California race. It's a 65 lapper. It's a 65 lapper this evening. There's going to be a lot of laps at California. Daryl Mays at Watkins Glen. All right. So congratulations goes out to Daryl. Let's take a quick look at the top 10 rundown, of which I did somehow, somehow, some way, figure in. Couldn't tell you how. Could not tell you how. I got down to three laps to go, and I'm like, okay, I got plenty of fuel. Got plenty of fuel I can push. And I think maybe while I was pushing a little bit, I, I used more fuel than what I had used so far. But anyway, nonetheless, it all worked out. Uh, let me pull these standings down right quick. We got to see this top ten. Yeah, I don't think uh, David's got much room to talk there. I don't know if anyone's left in here, but on the opening lap. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just traffic. You know, he's he's already wrecked, and traffic's still coming by, and then you just let off the brakes and take out some more people. Ooh. Hey guys, Daryl Mays is our race winner. Micah Curtis. Mm -hmm. Micah Curtis, let's look at Micah's car here. Oh, no bueno. Oh, look at that beautiful Ferrari. Uh, Billy Segman in his direct drive motorsport Porsche. Dimitri Mundros up here in fourth place. Oh, in yeah. The he's GT3. Moving like crazy with people coming by. Greg That's Gunther, everybody. Our Texaco BMW. Uh, Joe Francis in the non sponsor. We'll just leave it at that. Audi. It's a beautiful race car. Alan Lafker, kids, right here in P7. That's a gorgeous. Porsche GT3. I'm going to have to pick up that Porsche. I am. Everybody's driving it. They're having a lot of success with it. I don't own it. There's another one. There is Jesse Rostvite. Uh, Josh Harper in his Ferrari. Uh, Rick Javorka in 10th. I did not. I finished in 14th. Okay. I did not finish on the lead lap. It reset. Rick Javorka is our P10 finisher. All right. So there you go in the Welch's Grape Juice Ferrari this evening. So I did not finish top ten. All right, I got misled. I got misled. And that's okay. Control scoring has ended. All right. Uh, again, we had what did we have there. I think we had thirty drivers. We did thirty drivers in that one. That was absolutely crazy. A lot of fun. That was that was a whole lot of fun. All right, let's pull it down here. Let's exit out of this one. Congratulations one more time to Daryl Mays. A job well done. Yeah, it, it reset to fourteenth. It reset to fourteenth. After it was all said and done, the correct standings came out. I did. I finished 14th. I mean, I, 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 I did not have enough fuel to make it. I was, I was wondering how did that happen, and it did not. All right, let's get California in the queue. Um, in the event that we have to run a heat race, it would be an eight lapper. Uh, the title of this room is Heat Slash Practice Flying Aces California. Uh, we do have 20 minutes of practice, 5 minutes to qualify, and 8 laps if need be. Everybody's got 75% fuel. We'll have 3 additional sets of tires and a fast repair. Let me make sure everything is set. Anytime we go from a road race to an oval, I want to make sure everything is set correctly. Sometimes some of the, like the cautions off or something like that may, may um, follow us over, and we don't want to do that. So 4 o'clock practice. 5 o'clock qualifying, and 6.45 is our green flag time. That's going to be about 25 minutes before sunset. Uh, the weather is 78 degrees, mostly cloudy. That is randomized. C-Class, 1,200 on the I rating. And ladies and gentlemen, this race is now in the queue. We'll wait on her to get hot for us, and we'll hop in there and turn some hot laps. All fired up. Hey, big breaking news. Not really breaking. It's been scheduled forever. Where we start spring break. Uh, today was the last day of school for us for until next Wednesday. So we do have a brief little spring break here. It's going to be good. Donnie H. Is outlaw racing? I don't think so. Unless he hops in, I don't think he was planning on racing tonight. Scott Nichols. Uh, my Yankees won 5-4 to four over them Houston Astros. Yeah, I uh, watched uh, some of that. Yeah, I keep falling. You are correct. I kept falling. Uh, could not uh, could not hold on to that tenth place, and that's that's where I finished. Right? That's uh, there's no there's no being upset about that. I did not manage the fuel very well those last three laps. I could have, I could have, but decided not to. All right, let's go over here to Race Lab and change our session timer countdown back to 
laps lap counter is what I'm looking for all right we do have that set now that should be good to go I will go and change over our banner from race one over to race two and we should have the Sigmund live stream uh, shortly all right it is unlocked for me our password I'm sorry I should have put that up earlier is going to be California California is going to get you in all right uh, California straight up California we'll get you in there this evening okay uh, looking for some speed uh, last time we ran these uh, we weren't running in a pack but it was pretty tightly tightly compacted race and it was good stuff Checking my watch here and see if Outlaw, he has not messaged me or anything. So I don't look for him to be on this evening. He's all jacked up for some baseball and can't say that I blame him. It's opening day around MLB. A lot of good games on this evening. Now he is, as just like me, he is a baseball fanatic. Now I've got a TV right in front of me just across the room here. It's a fairly big TV. I just look over top of my screen and there's baseball. Of course, my team lost today. I'm, I'm not watching Cardinal baseball, but... Uh, when they do play and I race, I have a pretty good setup. Pretty dang good setup. All right, our situation is this. As we enter this race room, uh, we are looking at eight race credit drivers, plus myself making nine. Uh, if we have enough to run a heat race, that would be uh, top five qualifiers, top ten heat race finishers, uh, 24 car field. So that's what we're staring at this evening. Go ahead and uh, pop that background screen down. Come on, iRacing, show up, please. There you go. Thank you very much. Go ahead and get this unit over on the 16-1. Uh, um, we'll go up on that offset or the steering offset to about a 12. We'll go down on them brakes to about a 57-ish. That's the way we're going to roll. All right, let's go make her happen. Let me change over my race hub. That is the Asetech software. And change that unit over to the oval setup. And we're good. And we may already have the Sigmund live stream. Let me double check. Oh, no, he is not streaming yet. That's okay. Whenever. Actually, he is. My apologies. He is. We'll get that up here shortly. That's a nice looking car there, J Dub. Thank you, bud. I do appreciate it. Freshly painted. I went with the orange this evening. I think orange looks good on you. Well, I appreciate that. I'll certainly keep that in mind. I do like orange. Never been opposed to it. There we go. Keep that baby out of the wall. Gas it up. The 28 is the fastest car on the racetrack. 40.064. That's David Griffin, the fastest car on the racetrack in front of us. Two cars up now. 28 fitting in. Which that's the Godfather right in front of us. Right 
Houston 1. Get us a fast car on the tractor. 39.883. Outside, outside, outside. What's up, Godfather? Are you showing the stream? Uh, not yet. You good to go? Okay, okay. Okay, Jada. Still there. Yeah, whenever you're ready. Okay, I didn't know if you were testing out some stuff or what. Yeah, I'll throw it up there in just one second. We're going to pit in right here. Clear. Yeah, the brakes feel good. Perfect. All right, let me get the, uh, let me get Flying Aces cam up here. One moment. There is the template. Uh, let me find... Hang on just a second. One car pitting in, one car pitting. Hey boys, there's the Reverend. Hang on, let me go find... Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to pop that out. There we go. I need to pop that out in Discord. Alright, now let me go find it. Sigma I have to agree with David, that one has been my favorite so far. I appreciate that, really do. Now if we can just locate, ah, right, here we go. There we go, we found it! Boys, we found it! Alright, let's go ahead and show off the car. It looked good when I painted it, I don't know how it looks on the racetrack, I have not seen it yet. Let's take a quick gander, shall we? Okay, okay. All right, may, may, maybe so. Maybe so. I'm not opposed to it. I am not opposed to it. I like it. Okay, that's what we'll roll with them. Let me move over this a little bit. I don't want to cra- it's behind the, uh, the live stream. There we go. Now, Outlaw is not a fan of California, which I don't understand. It's a sister track to Michigan. He loves Michigan. But again, MLB started today, and he, he's watching a ton of baseball. He's actually raced a whole lot more than I thought he was going to this go around. Clear, 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 clear. Always awesome having him on the live stream with me. You miss the old fellow when he's gone. Oh, stay out of the wall. There we go. Try to see which lap is the hot one. Lap one or two. Looks like I've got a clean track to test it out. At 99, get us a fast car on the tractor. 39.774. Damn dog, that's a 40-0-3-1. Missed my mark a little bit there. <laughs> Sorry, David. I had to push it forward. I know what you're trying to do. Quarry side. The 10. Get the fastest car on the racetrack. 39.7. You're all good. 2, 9, clear. That's what testing is for, guy in the race. I don't know how I saved it. I got off to as quick as I could with the thought you were turning right. <laughs> Alright, so know, about the, the same lap time. time. And when you dove inside. I think lap two is going to be our yeah, hot I'll one. Talk that one up a bit of <laughs>
still in the 40 flats. Going to get about 30 laps on a fuel run. That's a 40.3. Should be about a 40.1 because of the draft I got off Rick. No, 40.5, never mind. The 50 is the fastest car on the racetrack. 39.689. All right, we're going to pit in here. We're going to go up more on that steering offset. Inside, inside. Clear, clear. I think went in there a little hot. I think I crashed. Did you make it, Rick? EMT, please. I think he caught the barrels. No, I, I did not make it. Yeah, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. All right, tire wear. 95-96. That's going to leave a mark. 95-96. Let's go see what Rick just did right there. I think I need the EMTs more than Rick does. Let's take a quick look. I just want to know how Richard Roth is able to do those donuts. Bam! Look at there. Let's go find Vincent donuts, Guici. Willie. Vincent Guici. Oh, I love that paint scheme. Bring it right there. Triple A. I like donuts. All right, here we go. Vincent Guici. I like the chocolate ones. I hear cop slot donut. Ouch. Was it a shame seeing that 22 car flipping and barrel rolling down the front stretch? But that's a good looking piece. Good call on the paint scheme. Got about five minutes remaining. How many drivers do we have in uh, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 32, uh, 31 competitors? with about five minutes to go. If you want in, we will have to run the heat race. Your password there on the screen is California. How many cars hitting in this time by? Let me change. I want to go up to a plus 16. Turn a couple of hot ones. We'll look at some paint schemes. Fifty-five miles per hour is our pit road speed. We're full throttle off on new tires. All right, scratch that. We should not be full throttle off on new tires. Bobby Johnson passed me in that beautiful Davy Allison ride. Clear. Good job. I'm going to half throttle it here. Try to create some separation. Save a bit of tire. Inside, inside. Clear. See if I can't beat that 40 flat on lap number two. All right. Working a 
bottom, inside. Still inside. Clear low. Working the bottom. Clear low. I think you can full throttle. We on our toes here, fellas. Through one and two. All right, let's be ready here. We're doing it here. We're good. We're good. Let's reset and try that again. I want to make sure we can get through one and two at 100%. I'm pretty sure we can. What's the fast lap time? Six, eight, nine. I don't know if that's draft aided or not, but Joe, I think that left more than just the mark. That I hit, or were you the one I hit? Yeah. I'm going to turn one hot lap here. Sorry about that. Sir. Then we'll look at some paints. Hey, I want to give a shout out to Rick Shigori. Rick was on a, uh, a podcast earlier this week and was very kind to us. Uh, gave us a lot of credit. Yeah, I think we can go full throttle through here. I shouldn't be anywhere near that wall. Yeah. Let's see if we can go full throttle through three and four. No, I don't think so. Maybe. Yeah, we can too. Keep it up. Get off the racetrack. Let's go look at some paint schemes. Just got a message from Oh wow. Vape and I am reading looks like you got half the message. What do you put me oh, we'll definitely check that out. Uh, Joe Francis, everybody. Joe Francis in that number 50. That's going to be my pick to click tonight. Joe Francis right here. 47 is Holt Johnston. The 22 is Kyle Buchanan. This car, I don't know what it is, but I like it, is Gary Donnellan. Chris Webb in that 68 car. A one car. That's a sweet-looking ride, boys. The Reverend Joey Kennedy. Uh, the 83 is Brandon Lawless. Good to see him back on the track. The 32 is uh, Cody Burke. The 33, John Creighton. It's a good-looking piece. The 44, Brandon Wybera. The 42, Jesse Rossvite. The 29 is Timothy Wheeler. The 93, Greg Gunther, tonight's race sponsor. We do have some prizes courtesy of Greg Gunther. James Cato in the Grand Home Furnishings Go Vols. Bobby Johnson in the Texaco Havoline entry. The 7 car is Sean Royer. The 6 car is Richard Robb. We've seen that one, that one. Let me make an announcement right quick. Gentlemen, our top five qualifiers automatically make it through to the feature. Top five qualifiers. We'll go finish up in paint schemes. I know there are several that we did not get. There's Holt again. The 96 is Mitchell Moore. This 38 is Richard Lekawa. Been a while since he's been on the track with us. There he is. Uh, Vincent Guichi in that Joey Logano ride. I like it. Corey Vaughn. Corey Vaughn in the 54. James Cato. Richard Robb. This car behind pit road is that Simray City. Too bad it's a Chevrolet, but that is David Griffin. Uh, the 22, Kyle Buchanan, we've seen. The 24 is Eric Winklespeck. The 52 is Slick Rick Javorka, Simray City Welch's Grape Juice. The 32 is Cody Burke. The 48, that's a good-looking piece, Justin Egan. This car behind the wall, that is Dirty Dan Taylor. Seven car we have seen, that is Sean Royer again. Timothy Wheeler. John Creighton, Brandon Wybera. Uh, Gary Donnellan in that, yes, says Gary. Uh, Jesse Rostfight. 
All right, let's see who we may have missed right quick. Uh, Justin Dews. Justin Dews. We have not got a practice time for him. Uh, Egan, we saw Buster Malcolm. Let's find Buster's. There he is in that 20 car. Uh, we saw Greg Gunther, James Cato, Jesse Cottrell, the Iceman. There you go. Jesse Cottrell, the godfather, if you will. Oh, let's see here. Chris Webb, Creighton, Wheeler, Griffin, Mitchell Moore, uh, Lekawa, Royer, Holt Johnston, Wybera, Dan Taylor, Burke, Ross Fight, West Polly has not turned to practice lap yet, so we can't see him. Uh, Daryl Mays, where's Daryl? There's Daryl's Haviline machine. It's a good looking piece. I like that gold Haviline. It's, nice, it's a well designed race car. Big fan. Uh, Brandon Smith, not turned to practice lap yet. We can't. James Lowe, here we go. Look at that Cheerwine, number 99. Boys, that's all chrome. Come on, bring it. Is that a Ford? That's a Chevy. Come on, James. Austin Collins, no practice lap. All right, we'll get some of these guys in the heat race. Let's get out here and qualify it right quick. Yeah, Vape, but I will, uh, I will have to go check that out. Uh, Alan, Alan, uh, Alan says... Please tell Blaw I'm sorry. Who, who B Law, okay. I will after qualifying. I most certainly will after qualifying. I will indeed. Lap two is gonna be a hot one, I firmly believe that. What's up, Chris Leak? Tom Sigmund, boys. Good evening, time. Lap two is going to be the hot one. Joe Francis Green with flag. a 39 7. I think I can get down into the eights, I think. Yes, there is one race credit remaining, PM3. Was somebody asking for it in the chat? I have not seen it. All right, here we go. Can I get my last uh, race credit? What's that, Kyle? Is there a uh, Richard uh, left? There is one remaining. I'll uh, take it. Copy that. Kyle Buchanan will take that last race credit. 398 3981 8 P2 come on Okay okay PM3 oh dang I am sorry PM3 Uh Kyle Buchanan assuming he has one remaining or one in his account let me go check Let's take a quick look here Kyle Buchanan 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 Yes, Kyle Buchanan does have a, that's his final race credit. Sorry, PM3. Um, Kyle asked for it, and that is the ninth one. That is the ninth one. All right, let's take a quick look here. Joe Francis, uh, Wheeler, Griffin is P4. Top five. Yeah, hang just one second. I think you're going to be in b -Law. Let me count right quick. Uh, myself, I don't count. Uh, Griffin doesn't count. He's a race credit. Gunther doesn't count. He's a race credit. So three, be top eight. Well, almost I took a race credit. Yeah. JW is second, so yeah. he should be in. Yeah, guys, it's going to be the top eight. We have uh, David Griffin and Greg Gunther and myself. We do not count. So top eight, you are in. Richard Lekawa and above, you're into the big show. For this eight-lap heat race, it's going to be our top ten finishers. 
Boys, Austin Collins, look there. James Cato, I think you'll like Austin Collins' car. Go Vols. Go Vols. There you go. That's a good looking piece. Let's go up here and uh, look at, um, we got Cody Burke, our de facto pole sitter. Uh, you've got Eric Winkle specced in that 24. You're going to have, uh, this is Vincent Guici. This car is Gary Donnellan. Jesse Rostfight. That is Austin <laughs> Collins. That is the Reverend Joey Kennedy. The 56 is Brandon Smith. The 35 is Larry Eddy. The 47 is Holt Johnston. The 20 car is Buster Malcolm. 2X, that is Wes Polly. The 7 car is Sean Royer. The 37 is Justin Dews. And boys and girls, starting shotgun on the field is that Sh uh, Slayer Chevrolet. That is Chris Webb. I'm trying to see if he's got anything illegal under here. I don't see anything. Everything looks pretty good from there. All right. So there we go. I like to zoom that back slowly, but where they're coming off pit road and the curvature of the track. It's hard to, uh, to, to control it slowly. Let's go find Brandon Lawless. Brandon Lawless, you got a copy? Is B-Law in here? Brandon, if you can hear me, Alan Leifer says he apologizes from the uh, Watkins Glen race. Beautiful scenery out here in Southern California. All right, so we're hearing... Well, I heard you, J.W. Uh, copy. So we're hearing that this is supposed to turn into a short track. Well, it doesn't look like that's going to be anytime soon. So what we're hearing now is NASCAR may be at the Long Beach Street Circuit. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing. I, I, I'll be honest. I, I don't know. If it takes a road course to get into Southern California, maybe in replace of or replacing, say, a Roval, I think I think Circuit of the Americas may have ran its course. You may be replacing that. I don't think we need to add another road course just to be racing in Southern California. My opinion. My opinion only. All right, we're trying to watch our top ten here. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Looks like the Reverend right now is in that coveted P10 spot here in the one car. We'll zoom in and try to find that as the sun sets here. Actually, Brandon Smith in this 56 is going to be in the 10th place position. Here you go. And, oh, we got a wreck behind us. We got a wreck behind us. We got a wreck in front of us. Holy crap. Holy crap. Not what you want to see. Not what you want to see. Two wrecks. Both individual wrecks. Not together. Tell me, bud. Sorry. Watch the wreck here. The 47 and the 2 and the 6 get together. Hey, Richard, do you own the uh, front straightaway? Oh, boys, that ain't good. I think the Reverend got a good piece of that. I just want to go on the record saying that I am not in the Tennessee car. I did not cause that. Yeah, the Rev is going to have to take a faster pair. It was the Sean Dura. Yeah, Rev is going to have to get that fixed. All right, we'll skip forward here. He, sh he is not taking her to pit road. Maybe pit road hasn't opened yet. However, that is a very nice paint. Yeah, it is. That's a good looking piece. What he's talking about is this Tennessee Vols machine. Let me find it. Probably on the pit road. There it is. She's looked better, I'll say that. We'll get it from this view. 
James Cato, big fan. Big fan of that paint scheme. Of course, that is Austin Collins. Make sure we're alive. I should have a lot of cars coming down pit road here. West Poly would not be one of them, I don't think. I'm, I'm thinking the Reverend right here. Yeah, Rev will be down pit road. John Creighton coming down pit road. Creighton is not coming down pit road. Is there any damage on that 33 Skull Bandit machine? No. The answer is no. Let's see these cars left out on track. I don't see any damage on any of these. So let's go back down pit road. We'll watch this live pit stop with the Rev. Fix that right. There you go. Fix that right front. Get some new tires on it. Reverend's coming to the front. All right, he is good to go. He is going to beat out uh, Larry How about Eddie. Me, JW, have I got any damage in the front right? I'll check. Buster Malcolm, where are you at, Buster? Negative on that, Buster. You are good to go. Only problem I see is that bow tie on the front of it. That's well, the only, that's only thing I see. Ten more horsepower. That's all that means. I, I think you're right. I really do. Guys, anybody strongly object if we skip a lap of caution? Please let me know. Last call, does anybody object if we skip a lap of caution? j I was one of the cars that got killed there, and I'm already back out on track, so we should be good. Copy. We'll go green next time. Bye. I think we're two to green right now. We're getting ready to take one to green. Yep, I just saw that on my messaging. Caution length reduction limited to two to green. All right, so I'm I was, glad that they shortened the caution to the bigger tracks. Yeah. Well, yeah, naturally, they have done it. They have done it. I racing did that about two years ago. They Sadly, did it. this track doesn't exist anymore. I know. It's honestly a crime. I agree. This is a great racing facility. Rest in peace. Auto Club Speedway. I think all this beautiful land around it is way too valuable. And I guess if I'm a businessman, I'm I'm probably selling it too. Man, that sucks for NASCAR. Hopefully, you know the plan is to to leave the front stretch Can I bleacher. Get a EOL, JW? Uh, there you go. The plan is to leave the front stretch bleachers and make Thank a short sir. track. The last I heard, anyway. It would be awesome. But nevertheless, I still, I will stand on this, uh, I, will, I will die on this hill. No more road courses added unless uh, we eliminate we the other. We should, give, we should give our second race back. Not a bad idea there either. All right, we are going green. There is P6, John Creighton. Seventh is Buster Malcolm. Eighth is West Polly. Ninth is Sean Royer. And at the moment, boys and girls, Corey Vaughn in that 10th place position. Being chased down by the Reverend and Larry Eddy and Brandon Smith. Jesse Rostvite. The lights are on. We will race into the nighttime. Two of these cars, the top two are positions nine and 10. We do have Rev Kennedy here on the bottom making some headway. Larry Eddy with a good restart. Oh, we got a wreck nice. up front. We got a wreck oh, up front. Call, Unbelievable. Man. Unreal. A little here. I don't get it, man. This track is wide. Here we are. Moments ago. Moments ago, this brought out the caution. JW. Yes, sir. Same password, right? 
Yes, that is correct. California. All right, thank you. I got to do a quick update. Big 10-4 on that. Bobby Johnson, everybody. Race credit entry, Bobby Johnson. All right, so that is that. Now, um, sh let's see. Doc Creighton here should have a faster pair. Honestly, don't know if he really needs it. He might use some new tires, but he's got some left rear damage. Yeah, that will slow him down a bit. No nose damage. Trying to see who he got in the wreck with. All right, they're probably back here. Let's see how much damage they've got. I'll see when I see the car, I'll recognize it. Right here, the 96 came down, and took the uh, faster pair. So we'll let this one play out. We're going to get the green-white checkered anyway. And that is Mitchell Moore in that 96 Mountain Dew game fuel machine. It's beautiful green. Buster Malcolm coming to pit road. Yeah, he's got a little nose damage on that Chevrolet. Not a whole lot, but probably enough just to slow him down. There you go. He took his faster pair. New set of tires. Seven car Sean Royer. Same situation. New tires. Richard Robb in that number six Eagle One Bugles. Bugles are good. What's up, CV? Selfishly, I must admit, I'm pulling for this UT Volunteers car to get into the show. That's Austin Collins. Let's go look at an Under Armour scheme. Can they ever go wrong with the Exxon Rowdy Burns entry? And of course, of course, Chris Cowell, Patriots Hospital. Love them veterans. All right, uh, quick look here. Reverend Kennedy's in seventh. Eighth place is going to be Larry Eddy. Brandon Smith in uh, ninth place. And tenth is J.C. Rustby. Right, here we go. A little left rear damage. Doc, you got a little left rear damage. It's all on the back of the car. Left quarter panel looks good. Spoiler looks straight as well. Nose looks good. 10-4, thanks. He would probably be, probably be best served coming to getting some new tires. But too late for that now as uh, Creighton is in the 12th position trying to race his way in. Going to have two laps to do it. Hopefully, we can do that to under the green. West Poly. Looks good to me. Yeah. West, left side looks great. I was just showing off the sponsor, J.W. Uh, Thank you, sir. Well played. Well played. Hidden Outdoors on YouTube and Twitch. Live streaming some hunting action out in the woods. Thanks for looking, Rev. Hidden outdoors, West Poly. No worries, bud. They beat me to the punch. All right, there's our pace car. Eric Winkle Specht will lead us back to the green. Can we get a green flag lap in? I'm calling it now. We're going to have one caution in the feature. Ideally, you'd love to see it around halfway. But it's not always the case. Oh, it's Chris Carter. Bam, bam. Got that Flying Aces hat today. That's what I'm talking about, Chris. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for uh, for the support. We do appreciate it. Why so many ads now? Wonderful question, Kyle. Wonderful question. Every three minutes, that's ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. Should not be every three minutes. I don't understand that. Straight cash, homie. Straight cash. All right, boys, here we go. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 cars still fighting for 10 spots. This is the green-white checker. The next flag will end the race. Well, technically, that's not true. You'll, you'll see the white flag. Thank you very much, Spasm. All right, let's get back here in the field and check on our 10th place. At last check, it was right here. Brandon Smith, Jesse Rossfight, Doc Creighton making it three wide or trying to make it three wide. 
we will have one lap to go. John Creighton is in the 10th position. He's going for more, and I don't blame him. That's going to put Corey Vaughn back here in the 10th spot. He's going to try to make it work on the bottom. Going to be door-to-door -door with the good doctor, John Creighton. This is for a position. This is 10th place. Both of these cars, the 33 and 54, are in. Can the 98 or the 56? The 98 trying to put some pressure on Corey. Corey and them chrome wheels in the Sprite machine. I believe he's going to do it. Corey Vaughn will advance to the feature. So congratulations right there. Two, four, six, eight. Yes, Corey Vaughn in position number 10. An outstanding job by driver 54, Corey Vaughn, making it into the big show. Good race, guys. Gentlemen, our top 10 will go on to the feature. Same password, California should be hot in about two minutes time. All right, we'll go ahead and grab a quick uh, photograph of our top 10 and top five qualifiers. Let's go here to the uh, top five. It's actually top eight, Richard Lekawa is in. Let me grab a camera right quick. Richard Lekawa up, okay. And then our finishers, We'll go top 10. That's Corey Vaughn all the way to the top. Right there we go. Beautiful work. Beautiful work. All right, Kyle Buchanan, copy that. Got you in there. Um, Kyle, you actually had a race credit on file. I'll go ahead and put that back down for you before we exit, so I will not forget that. Kyle Buchanan. Excellent. There we go. All right. We're all set. Let's go ahead and get on with the show. If I can find my background screen. Boys, that's always a mystery. A lot of scrolling going on. If you've ever used OBS, there's a lot of scrolling going on. All right, let's get this feature in the queue. Uh, we'll set that baby to start now. Let's give it a once over. Make sure our times have not changed for the start of the, the race. Again, everybody's got three extra sets of tires, 75% on the fuel. Unless you're in a Chevy tonight, you have 12% fuel. That would be a cruel joke, but funny. But I won't do that. Some of my best friends drive Chevrolets. Can't figure it out why, but they do. But they sure enough do. All right, we're going to have 84 degrees in overcast. Cloud cover, 19% to 100%. It's going to be a warm one. It's going to be a warm one. All right, we are all set. Uh, cautions are set to on. All right, we're good to go. Let's see. Got motion at the front door. That means the dogs want in. I know what that means. All right, waiting on this baby to go hot. Password California. I think I left the password up during the heat race. Man, I apologize for that. Junior Varsity. Junior Varsity, if so. Where is Outlaw tonight? Is he stuffing? Possibly so, Vaping. Possibly so. No, he uh, told me this morning he likely would not race. He's going to watch some baseball this evening. So uh, I've known throughout the day that he's not going to be on. But he's kind of like a fart in the wind periodically. You never know. He may just show up. Not looking for it, but just saying he may show up. Uh, do, again, do not look for it, but uh, it wouldn't surprise me at all. It's only been a few years that cord cutting became a thing. That is true. Uh, YouTube should realize coins have two sides. People get... F there you go, man. There you go. You are correct. And I was one of the early adopters in cord cutting. I, I did away with satellite television, I don't know, five years ago. Hopped on... At the time, it was PlayStation View. We had that for a couple years. They discontinued that service. I hopped over to YouTube TV for a couple years. And uh, now I'm with DirecTV Stream, which I like. It's a little bit more expensive, but you, you get a lot more than you do. Namely, MLB Network. That's that's the main reason I switched to a DirecTV. But uh, no complaints with DirecTV Stream. Good stuff. But I'm with you right there. I'm with you, Spasm. 
uh, you know, there's a reason so many people dropped cable and satellite, and then you you get you get the uh, the streaming services now. You know, they've all got their f not free, but their reduced price uh, with ads. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't know where the model goes. I, I, I do not know. Shane Delgado, boogity 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 boys, let's go racing. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you a hundred percent. One hundred and thirty-six watching. Smash that thumbs up. Let these drivers know you're watching. Here, here, spasm. Well said. Yeah, if you can find it in your heart this evening, you don't mind. It costs nothing. We'll gladly take a thumbs up. Look, I make no bones about it. Uh, yes, I run this channel, but uh, it, it's about the drivers. It's it's all about the drivers. It's about uh, showcasing these guys, the talented, whether it be paint scheme talent or driving talent. You know, I, I, I love doing that. So, yeah, indeed, a thumbs up does show those guys support as well. Fubo also went up on price and commercials started picking. Man, it's crazy. Uh, I looked at Fubo, thought about going to Fubo, but they are missing... Um, what are they miss? Maybe TBS? Are they missing the TBS? Which I would miss the Major League Baseball playoffs and and some college basketball tournament. But anyway, I uh, decided not to go with uh, Fubo. I think it was TBS. I might be wrong. I might be misleading you. There may, maybe it's AMC, something that I watched quite a bit. All right. Let's go ahead and back off the uh, background screen. There she is. California is the place you ought to be. Beverly Hillbillies. Let me get a quick look at my race sheet. I think we have nine spots. Yes, nine race credit drivers. Myself makes ten. And then our 15 top five qualifiers, top ten finishers. That's 25 cars making it in here. So 26, including Billy Sigmund, our videographer. At the moment, we have 22. So missing four competitors. Let me give this once over. Looks like everybody that is in supposed to be in. Still two drivers short. We'll see those as they come in. 16-1 uh, is what I'm rolling with. I think it went up to a plus 16 on the offset and a 57 on the brake bias. Felt really good. Qualified her second for the uh, heat race. I feel like I'm not very hydrated. Got to get some water in me here in just a moment. All right, so we're, uh, there we go. Joe Francis, Brandon Lawless are in. Got to get our orange version of the Simray City Mustang. Is the best car the tractor. Got to go flat. top five tonight. In. All right, here we go. Hot lap. Like to be down in the 39s if at all possible. She pushed on me. She pushed on me. What happened? I hit the wall. That's what happened, Chad. Relax. You got 12 high definition monitors on that pit box, and you asked me what happened.
Let's take a look at the damage. Because that may not be the last time that happens. I'm going to try to get an idea of what she looks like here. Let me rewind it. Okay. So that's a pretty firm bounce into the wall. I don't see anything sheet metal. I don't see any sheet metal damage too bad. So just a scrape of the paint. You don't want to do that too many times. It's pretty much going to hit the wall at some point. You just hope it doesn't screw your race over. We're going to pull that password down. As we've got about two minutes remaining. Let's check on our field right quick. Gunther Donnellan, let's see, should be 26 in here. Brandon Wybera at the bottom is 22, 24, 26. Boys and girls, we're all set. We are all set. Uh, 39911, Greg Gunther up there in that number 93 DuPont leading the uh, top of the charts in practice. Right, we got about two minutes left. Now, let's get out here and practice the race line right quick. We're going to have to try to save some tires. I don't think we're going to have a lot of cautions at all. 65 laps. Just a little bit more than one stop. Because we're actually, once I get up to speed here, it should be about 33 laps. 32, 33 laps of fuel. But with it being a night race, you're going to get more grip, probably turning more horsepower, using more fuel. Let's try to run the race line. I haven't forgot either, buddy. I'm going to try to save some tires. 20 is the best car on the track there. 39.864. I'm going to try this plus 20. If I got enough time, I want to see how that feels. Come on, exit, let's go. This is important. I got 14 seconds remaining. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get down into three and four. Biggest thing I want to do is see how it feels on the straightaway. I might try it. I'm going to qualify with plus 20. I can always go back to a plus 16 if I don't qualify very well. All right. Since Outlaw's not racing tonight, I get to choose a driver courtesy of Greg Gunther that I want to race against. So, um, it's going to be the first Ford that qualifies closest to me. So, behind me, I guess. The first Ford that qualifies behind me. One more time. The first Ford that qualifies behind me. All right, let's go. And we need to go find out who that is and identify them early on. P12. 
flag. Go nice and easy here. Try not to use up a whole lot of tire. Should be about 184 at the line. Thirty nine six nine five. That's P three, P four. All right, let's go identify some Fords in the field. Let me go back into practice. Uh, some Fords. Joe Francis, you in a Ford? Yes, he is. Joe Francis in a Ford. Guichi, you in a Ford? He's in a Ford. Uh, where have I qualified? I am currently sitting in fourth place. So, Lekawa, you in a Ford? No, it's a Chevrolet. I ought to know. David's in a Chevy. Uh, Reverend's in a Chevy. Winklespec Chevy. Larry Eddy. What's Larry running here? Is Larry, Larry's in a Chevrolet. I can tell by the headlights. Kyle Buchanan's in a Chevy. Cottrell's in a Chevy. Wheeler. Timothy Wheeler. Right there you go. I think Wheeler is... The closest guy to me in a Ford. Wes Polly. Wheeler, Polly, Bobby Johnson's in a Ford. Wheeler, Polly, Johnson. Dirty Dan's in a Chevy, I do believe. Corey Vaughn. All right, so Wheeler or Wes Polly. It looks like Wheeler's going to start 14th. Uh, there is no Fords behind me. Greg Gunther starting in front of me. He's in a Chevrolet. Cody Burke's in a Chevrolet. Guichi's in a Ford. Guichi in front of me. I could go Guichi, but I said earlier, I thought I would qualify about 10th or 11th and have somebody right around me. Most of your faster guys are in the Chevrolets, and I did not anticipate. Uh, all right, so Wheeler's going to be the closest guy to me in a Ford, and if he would accept, we're going to race for a $5 prize. Uh, Buchanan's in a Toyota. I misspoke a moment ago. Larry Eddy's in a Chevy. Uh, Winkle Specht in a Chevy. Reverend I know's in a Chevy. He always drives him Chevys. David Griffin's in a Chevrolet. All right, Timothy Wheeler. Timothy Wheeler. Uh, let's go back down to a 16. It uh, apparently was a 16. No, it wasn't. I was looking at the wrong thing. All right, there we go. There we go. All right. Uh, let me think here. Let's take a look at the live stream. We got password down. We got Flying Aces Cam over there in the bottom right-hand part of your screen. That brought to you by uh, Billy Sigmund. There we go. It's time to grit them up. Let's play our national anthem. Cannot have a great race without a great anthem. Got to stay hydrated. That's what they tell me anyway. It's what my high school health and PE teacher told me. Got to stay hydrated. Good luck, good luck, good luck, everybody. You too, Kyle. What I'm going to do is. Uh, 
move that out of the way. All right. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Dale Earnhardt Jr., yes. Drivers, start your engines! Thank you, Dale Jr. Set the tires. Race control. All right, all right, all right. Starting P6. I need a top five tonight. I think I can get it. I think I can get that top five. If we stay out of trouble, I think we can get that top five. All right, drivers, as we roll off here, we're going to go 65 laps. We're going to do that with 75% fuel. You got three additional sets of tires and a fast repair if needed. There is no penalty system for this race. Tonight, courtesy of Greg Gunther, we're going to do a random draw. Anybody on the lead lap? going to be a $5 prize. Again, that courtesy of Greg Gunther. And courtesy of Greg, I'm going to be racing Timothy Wheeler tonight. He is the, uh, the the Ford that qualified behind me, and that's what I chose before we qualified. So, Timothy Wheeler, if you accept, I'd like to race you for a $5 prize, courtesy of Greg Gunther. I accept that challenge, Will, man. Solid. Greg, we do appreciate the prizes. Drivers, thank you for joining. Let's have a great time here at this now nostalgic racetrack. Best of luck to all competitors. Yeah, unfortunately, she's she's nostalgic now. This track will forever be known as a good auto club. Agreed. It's also known for Kyle Busch's first win in the Cup Series and his last win at this track. Oh, wow. I did not realize that. Or the last one to win at this track. I did not realize that. I didn't realize it the was his first win. Live on forever. Every day, every week. Do your thing. Danny once broke his back here. Pace cars off. Are you ready? Probably. You know, it's not. Kevin Harvick won a race here. That's true. Joey Logano once got punched in the face here. The inside. That inside. happened. Still there. Tony Stewart trying. He did. Uh, Joey Logano also punched Kyle Busch here. Clear low. Inside. Two inside. What's, uh, we reckon behind us? Right yes, we are. One, one, Put it out. Hold your break, man. Hold your break. Guys, just quickly, just remember. Nice and smooth. Take in fluid. Stay by those fans. Tony J.W., you people. nailed it with that livery. Put another TV up here, guys. I appreciate it. Just actually fooling around. Right, I, I've got another car around, that's orange. Uh, again, just fooling around, and everybody seems to like it. So I may, I may run more of it. It's the red on top of it, or the darker orange that makes it look really good. Solid. Just hear me out here, JW. I'm all ears. With a wood grain. Come on. Believe it or not, Rev. Believe it or not, today, during my free time at work, I painted a car with some wood grain on it. <laughs> That's cool. I've been thinking about that. Yeah. Did you show it to the superintendent to see to show him what you're doing on your free the road time? Is open. No, no, I did not. Lying up behind the one. Well, you just told on yourself on stream. That's all right. I had all my work done for the week. It was the last day before spring break. We're all good. Now, we're going to be close on the fuel, and I like where these guys' heads are right now. I like where these guys' heads are. I was actually thinking was about... It lunch break, guys. Correct. I like where the head is right now. Let's go ahead and top it off with fuel. This should put us hey, up to the... People in your school watch your streams? Yes, yes, they do. Gentlemen. How do you think he has 136 Mark. people watching? It's all staff. Day one of each class, I force every one of them to subscribe to the channel. I'm kidding. Go, man, go, 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 go. That'd be pretty, that'd be pretty funny. And that's why we don't allow bad language. Line up behind the wall. In all seriousness, you're right, Corey. That's that's the number one reason. Um. 
our school faculty had uh, uh, invited all their faculty to our show last night, and we got the superintendent on stage and dressed him up as Dolly Parton. Oh, boy. The reality of it is, I don't ever mention the channel. Mic check. That mic is checked. I don't ever mention the channel until someone Thank mentions you. it to me. Now, granted... Hey, w, what do you teach? Marketing. Granted, I do have a oh. big Flying Aces TV flag in my classroom. One of my students... Imagine that. Yeah, I like it. I like it. One of my students, about four years ago, bought me a huge Flying Aces TV flag. And it hangs in the JW, classroom. JW, just curious. Do you know what your uh, most viewed video is? Uh, not right off the top of my head. I would imagine it's a Daytona 500, maybe. I think. One to go. The same one line. earlier had 10,000. I thought y'all had one that had like 300,000 or something. Oh, uh, yeah, a uh, Bubba Wallace video I from Bristol during the pandemic. Point. I forgot about that. That's got like 600,000. And that is your most right, we need to be behind I'm looking the at it now. I think so, yes. How many views that got, Wheeler? I think it's 600. 627,000. Yeah. Fans really hate Bubba. JW, I was at that race, and I've seen that video. We couldn't have been more than 10 or 15 rows away from each other. That is crazy. Yeah, Outlaw that just... That was pretty uh, cool going to that track during the middle of all that. I agree, it was. It felt odd. It really felt odd, but it was fun. You couldn't set... Bristol is such an awesome track. Yes, it is. Vincent, was that your first time a couple weeks ago there? Race I've ever been to. Oh, it's, it's incredible. Bristol is the best. Yeah, that was my first time ever. Awesome. Been to Pocono. That was probably the best first race I'd ever been to, JW. 100% agreed. Me too. That is one of the best races I've ever been to, but yeah. I've been to some pretty good Pocono races, so I don't know. Don't check those belts, but check your steering wheel. Well, I saw Ryan Blaney's first win, and I saw the Denny Hamlin saga against all the people on the wall. Yeah, Denny used to dominate Pocono. I was at the 01 Daytona 500, seven years old. Green flag. That's a good one to go to. Forever remember. Outside. Still outside. Still outside. Bristol's such a cool track. It's like a stadium. Yes, it is. Still out there. Still there. Door outside. Clear. Good job. Outside. Can't tell yet. Still outside. Clear if you need it. In and out. Woo! Still there. Inside only. Green lap, green lap, keep it up. Still there. P8 is the fastest car on the track. 41.646. Six. Still inside. Still there. Inside. Oh, oh, boys, the lights are on. Still inside. Still inside. Fast guys running 39.4. It's a good lap, my man. Keep it up. You're clear. T7 is the fastest car on the tractor. 39.444. Where is that? Inside, inside. Still you know, deciding to pit that early, I think it was an easy decision because it was so early. I've got plenty of race to, to catch back up. I gave up some awesome track position. Caution, caution. Kind of walk me through a lap here, please. Is that a, oh, what what is that laying hey. on the road right there, that shiny thing? Woo. I don't know piece of metal, is it? Boys! Yeah, watch it go. <laughs> Holy crap! That is. We don't get flat, leave it. Yeah. 
That was about nuts. That was about nuts. I was up on the top side and it looked like it was completely clear and by the time I get there it's like no. I think that was West Poly if I'm not mistaken. I come back down right here and and, uh, and take more fuel. No, 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 no. We're going to restart behind the 23. I stay out right here. I stay out for that track position. Everybody else at Denton Pit's coming down now. I'm going to stay out with these cats, get my track position back. Be behind the 23. Still going to be a one-stop race for everybody. Right now. Could have been potentially a two stop race had we not stopped the first time. Man, I hate that. That's two quick cautions. No reason to have two quick cautions. I know stuff happens, but dang, we're seeing it now down on Flying Aces Cam. Wheeler looks like he was an innocent bystander in that. Here we go, from the top, replay from the top. Looks like the uh, red and black car just got out of control. I don't know if he was punted or what. Line up behind the 23. Oh, uh, that was a horrible net code. It was like three foot in between the two cars. You hate to see it, you do. You hate to see the net code. I'm not sure. The net code spikes. The dreaded net code spike. All right. Now, I don't know if these guys behind us took tires or not. I doubt it. Seriously doubt it being this early in the race. Okay, so it looks like Wabera and I'm not sure who that the black car is on the outside. That car right there. Trying to old man look at the uh, live stream. I can't tell who that is. They're in a Camaro. Yeah, who was it? Yeah. Oh, Richard Leckel. Okay. Copy. So that's Richard Leckel right there on the screen. Richard, I was asking him who that was involved in that wreck. Yeah, that, that's you hate to see that. I got done across the board. Yeah, I think Wheeler, from what I saw, was an innocent bystander there. I don't think he had any part in that. Sorry about that last bit of contact there, Wes. It just wheel hopped on me right before I got to you. All right, so we're back up in the top ten. It's all good, Creighton. Fuel-wise, we're going to be about 28 laps. That'll take us up to over the halfway point. We're good. Thanks, guys. Off. We'll be ready. 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 I was in fourth gear. Got a bit of damage here, boys. If it's, uh, Green flag. Don't go well. I'll, drop, I'll go high. Go get those boys now. Go get them. Terrible restart.
Still there. Still on the inside. Still inside. Inside's clear. Outside. Door outside. Still out there. Still outside. Sorry about that, Creighton. All I don't clear. know if that was my fault or not. But I know we touched. Good lap, that's what we need. Yeah, we need right. three, nine, early race that hard, three, four, four, whatever. T7, get us the fastest car on the racetrack. 39.383. Love them palm trees. Go low here, Rev. I think you got a little bit of damage there, too. Yeah, I reckon so. <laughs> Thank you. Good that, my man. Keep it up. All right, we're going to try to settle in here and save some tire. Got a little separation on the guys behind us. Nothing out the back. The gap is 1.1. One. I've seen some people blink tonight that normally doesn't blink. Like I just saw Rick right there. Rick never blinks. I don't think I'm driving hard enough, Paula. I can just see you hanging her out there. <laughs> Go around, Wheeler. I got damaged. I couldn't get in the pit there to get my damage fixed. I love that red car James Lowe's brought tonight. Red chrome. Good to see that 22 car up front. Seriously? <sighs> really? I met with the hand. Sorry, J Dub. Fast guys are running 42.951. 
just like that the old sorry God bless man I need a caution flag of course that goes without saying now I got tattooed I don't know if I got any damage on the car I may I'm sure I do Come on, bud. You can do it, man. The gap is 5.1. Get ready, fellas. All right, we got a lot of damage. So the front does have damage. We got a little bit of damage on the left side. I can't remember if I hit the inside retaining wall or not. I think I did. So I got damage on both sides. I'm going to have to fast repair it. As soon as I get in my fuel window, I got to go do it. Whose bumper is that laying on the back stretch? It's still there. Someone just hit the tire barrel. You have damage, Wheeler? The 25th of a liter? No, just real, real old tires. I burn them up trying to get back up to the front. Last lap was a 41.7. 41.8. We're trending in the wrong direction. I don't think I'm too far down on the speed. Still about 180 at the line on these old tires. If we get a caution, I'll, I'll not take the faster pair. I'll see how much damage I do have. Running 41.593. All right, 593. So I'm about a tenth and a half off. Like You're it was faster than I am, JW. I'm in the 42. I did save quite a bit of tire before I got involved in the wreck. I burn all mine off trying to get back to you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing that now.
We are catching West Polly. Man, we need a caution badly. Sorry about that while ago, Vincent. I didn't have time to react, but you're fine. I didn't think you were getting a push of that much momentum. I just tried to get in line as fast as I could to get to the top of the corner. All right, let's do some math. Thirty-four laps is what I'm comfortable on on fuel. So 65 lap 30 would be 35. Lap 31 or 32 is going to put us in our fuel window. I'm going to come down pit road on lap 32. Faster parrot, new tires, Hope for a caution. Everybody's going to take tires. We are now in the 42s, 42 flat. Working lap 30. You have damage back there, JW? Moderate damage. That completes lap 30. Two more laps. We're bringing her down pit road. West Polly already on pit road. I'll be by. I'll be on pit road next time by. Let's go ahead and set our uh, fuel. You. Twenty one pitting in. Come on, boys. Fast repair, fuel, and tires. Come guys, you're gonna leave by me, dude. I'll leave by the jack. 
All right, we are a lap down. That will cycle through. I think. I hope. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. John, are you faster than me? I'll let you go if you are. No, I have damage. I'm just trying to, like, keep some air on my nose. Okay. All right, at the moment, I think I'm racing West Poly here for the lucky dog. I am. Tires. After that last run, 73 on the right front, 87 on the right rear. Left side's wearing pretty good too. Two seconds back of Wes. Oh, buddy, you can find us something, man. Find us a little something there. You can do it. The gap two. I need to get in that lucky dog position. Leader that is 41.691. Checking up. I have cut three tenths off. I am trying to save a bit of tire in case this thing goes green for a while. And we have a late caution. 28 car pitting this lap. Pitting this lap. David Griffin bringing that Sim Race City machine to pit road. Good job, I threw him out the back. The gap four point three. Twenty six this time. Fifty two, good name. Rick Javorka in the Sim Race City Welch's grapefruit. Grape juice machine on the pit road. Come on, that's lack of focus right there. I didn't do any damage, but it's just lack of focus. I was watching the car ahead of me. Heading in the flap. Winkle Specked! Pitting in, pitting in, pitting in. It's like West may have got a piece of that wall too.
Nothing coming from behind. The gap is 1.8. Now we have closed it to one second. I'm going to try to use Rick right here to draft off. See if I can't get into that lucky dog position. Now that second batch of cars that pitted, they're going to be about six, seven laps better on fuel. Hitting the flop. There they go. Cal Buchanan has not pitted yet. Outside. Really gonna have to go, man. The gap is one. Still there. Step one. Business Pitting leader. Club. Pitting Still club. out there. Clear. Clear. Get after it. Cal Buchanan bringing that two car down pit road. Forty-two pitting in. Alright, all the new tire guys are, of course, catching us. We didn't make up a lot of track position. We're getting ready to lose it all. We do have enough fuel. It's not really my. It's not really what I'm trying to do here. We're needing a caution. Everybody's got enough fuel now. I am on the lead lap. I think it's crazy. Wes, outside, Wes outside. blinks every time he's entering turn three. Still there. That's just the something in the code, or I'm not, I'm yeah. not sure, but it's one specific spot every lap.
Atta boy, come on, man. Keep digging. Keep whipping her. The gap, one, point eight. Fast guys are running 41, point two, four, two. I am running the same lap times as as the leaders. Driver Corey Vaughn in that 54 Sprite machine on his way back up through the field. Still there inside. Door quarter clear. Outside. Still out there. The 83 is the leader. Still out there. Comes Bobby Johnson in his Texaco machine. Still outside. Clear. The reality of it is, if we don't get a caution, I am not going to gain any more spots. Got to have that caution. We're 15 laps away from the end of this one. If you are just tuning in or perhaps watching in the future, I got doored on, uh, I don't know, about lap 15. Come on, bud. You can do it, man. Got pushed Again, to the back. One. Outside. Clear. Got doored right here on the front stretch. I think, if I'm not mistaken, he may have hit the wall. or overcorrected so he didn't hit the wall. Because I was down in the middle part of the track, I felt, and I got doors slammed. Here comes Kyle Buchanan. On the bottom inside. Still inside. Still there at your door. Still there. Clear. Uh, J Dub, I totally just did not know you were there. It's all good, buddy. It's all good. It's racing. It is. It's, you know, it's like I just said. It's racing. I feel awful. It didn't make you feel any better, and I'm. I've got damage too. No need to feel bad. Stuff happens. It won't be the last time. Certainly not the first. Everybody in this field has gotten doored. Anytime you run tracks like this, it's hard to see you left and right. The gap 1.3. Leaders are running 41.4. JW pays his fine and everything's okay. Clear on the no big deal. Copy that. I just want to see a, a pace car. Go ahead, Law. Go ahead, Rep. Go ahead.
I just go and push you. That's the them, Larry. You're all good. It's all good. Come on, man. Keep taking it. Keep whipping it. Again, 2.8. It'll be 10 laps, 10 laps to go this time. This will be our AR15parts.com. 10 to go lap. Let's go. We need a caution, boys. Uh, what a shame. They first just got disqualified. We got a heck of a uh, battle going on for P1 between James Lowe and Cody Burke. Brandon Lawless right there with them. Vincent Guichi knocking on the door. Looks like we got about seven or eight cars all packed together. Inside. Still inside. Still there. Still there. There, that's a good job. At least I do get to race West Poly. I am we are fighting for position myself, Wes and Gary Donnellan, we are fighting for position. It may not be a glorified position, but we are racing for position. can't take my eyes off that battle on Flying Aces cam. That's what I get right there. Inside. Lost all my momentum. Still inside. Clear him. Sorry, Greg. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's racing it's for both of us. Tell you what, though, this is some fun stuff right here. Yes, it is. Yeah, this is great racing. Coming to five to go. Doing good, bud. Doing real good. This is our FEG Custom PC.com. Five to go left. Clear high. Sorry, Brandon, I think you're off the gas. I had to, I had to check up there, Greg. I'm gonna do everything in my power. Yeah, just tucked right behind you. I get my Wes. Thanks for not taking me out. Go ahead and go around. Go low. Outside, you're clear. Uh, 
Hey, hey! All right, all right. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Jesse, that was that was just your tires were sliding. Oh, man, the Godfather got involved. That was a blessing. At least we have a chance now. At least we have a chance. I ran over my own wheel and I couldn't hear me behind the 23. Hey, great to get an EOL, Bert. Yeah, can I have an UL? Pace car middle back, checking up. Thank you. All right. Let's put a little bit of fuel in this thing. We've only got four laps left. If we go extra, let's put 3.4 gallons in it. This road is open. You're missing a whole front end there, Greg Gunther. They got the passengers. Man, guys, that was so fun. That looked a lot of fun. Come around to nine. Don't mind it behind the 23. Man, I wish that wreck didn't knock my right front off. Line up behind the safe car. I've got to try to see my sign. I ran my own wheel over again. The uh, the pit road countdown is not working this evening. Ten away. All right, good. It is working now. Five away. At your mark now. Turn in, turn in, turn in. Come on. Nice and smooth here. Leaving on me. Angled outward. We're good. We are good. Tire wear. Pretty rough. Pretty rough stuff. Go, 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 go. One more set of tires. I'm sorry, I lost. I ran my own tire over again. We should be behind the two. Good. All right. I don't know how it finishes, but at least we got a shot to pick up some positions. They brought us a top five car here. Anybody care to report their tire wear? Maybe lining up behind the two. 68 on the right front, 85 on the right rear. What were you doing, JW? Just trying to keep pace. I've had a lot of damage most of this race. Right rear. David, I was at 5580. Hey, what's that? Wow, I was at 7588. Want to go, man? I pushed I when I was by myself leading. All right, we need to be the, uh, the 27. Pitted first, and I really screwed myself. For a 70, 84. Not be able to get in the pit that first wreck there. That first I think we should be behind really the 27. Yes, it did. I was wondering why he stayed out. I was at 84, 92 there. Dang, boys. Are you even driving it? 81. David, I was also running the top for that majority of the run and broke the tires, so that probably affected the tire wear a little bit, too. Yeah, I was up top with you. James Lowe comes off pit road, yeah, our I, new I, I leader. I was running my own wheel over. I was broken so bad. Joe Francois up there on the front row. That was my pick to click. I've never had that happen in a uh, fender car before. I called it the other night at... at uh, at Talladega in the 87's Winkle spec, my pick to click tonight, I called it. I say we just stay at California every day of the week. Joe Francis. I second that. It's a good track. And all of, well, I saw you going into pit road there. <laughs> I'm more of a Michigan kind of guy. I like Michigan. Make sure yeah, but Michigan's a little easier. This is a little more of a challenge. All right, yeah. let's try to knife through uh, traffic. Track and the a lot of fun. In the Xfinity car. Green flag. 
laps to go. Two Five. laps to go. Pass guys running 40.559. Still out there. Still there. Still outside. Clear. Three point check reader. You will have a caution, caution, caution. Guys, let's get the wow. bags and clean this mess up here. Wow. Get to the box is the part that I'm mainly concerned about. If the road is clear, somebody run out there and look at that. That could be a piece of brake rotors right there. RJ or somebody. The road's closed. Put it out, turn three. Behind the 54. Put it out. Put it out. Three off of two. Put it out. Turn two. Turn two. Put it out. Turn three. Turn three. Come on, Danica. All right, unfortunately. I'm pretty sure that was my fault, Brandon. I think Everyone we should be else. behind the 50. I do apologize. Fortunately, it looks like uh, Corey Vaughn's going to have to go down pit road. Sumner said that was horrible net code, James. That wasn't your fault. You was like three feet off of him. Behind the 54. I'll take your EOL, please. The road's open. Clear. 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 We should be behind the 40. Wheeler, did you just. You turn your, you get loose or something, turn by yourself? No, they, uh, I swerved up and I had no clue somebody was above me and I turned off the back of them. I don't know anybody that's going to take tires here. Looks like we had a lot of cars involved in that one. All right, we're now up to 13th position. Sorry, Cal. I was trying to get position in my seat, buddy. God, dog it. Sorry. Uh, no, I'm playing it. My race has already gotten me kind of the best. You can see the sparks flying on that 54 my machine. Hurting. I had to get. I was moving around here. Sorry about that. It's like his left front is bent out of shape. Plenty of fuel remaining. Got 10 laps of fuel. We will get the one to go next time by. Yeah, the net coach spike has been pretty rough this evening. Outlaw probably had a field day with that. I don't know, Buster. Top five is still a long way away. Sorry, Dan. I forgot my ignition was off when I popped the clutch. Man, oh man, oh man was really and look I'm having a great time no problem. Mine but was off too. I was really looking forward to this race today I knew we were going to run California soon mm, mm, mm. and to, for me now these are this is just a perfect car track combo it's possible JB it's possible we're going to have to pass this 42 car, Jesse Rossfight, and John Creighton, one to go. and perhaps the Godfather. On the inside, lining up behind the 66. We're going to get one more restart? I don't know. After this one? Possibly. Oh, Buster, I'm going as hard as I possibly can. I've got full RPM here, JW, but I'm not sure how much damage I have from that. 10 for you. you do have a little damage on the rear. I don't see any on the left side though. Yeah, there's no I don't see any damage on that 33. We are at full RPM in that 33 car. That's good to know. At least on the initial start. All right, let's make sure we focus on this restart right here. We're second gear. If I can grab a top 10 out of this, it will be a successful night. Big girl. Let's keep going the right direction. 
Ten four. Pace cars off. Be ready. Green. Outside is clear. Outside. Still outside. Still outside. Two outside. One outside. Clear. A wreck behind us. One attempt and a green white checker here. Yellow, yellow. Their road's closed. Whew! Wasn't clear, bud. Wasn't clear. Me too. JW, can you check my front end? Alright, looks like you're gonna be lining up. Yeah, come on up. The, uh, 26. Coming around it. Right nine. side looks really good. Let me get on your left side. You should be behind the 26. Yeah, she looks good. You're in good shape. Radio check. Oh Radio my god! One, two, one, two. The road is closed. Behind the 25. Why is it telling me to pass you? Yeah, where I dove down to look at your car, I got a pit road violation. God bless it! Oh man, I'm sorry, JW. That was my fault. It's all good. I think we could all open. agree, JW, that you open. could clear that one. Sure <laughs> nope, I'm not gonna do it. Road. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. I'm not gonna start it. Not that gonna start it. Stupidest penalties, though. It is. Not gonna do it. Like, I know, like, Coda has bad track limits, and it's really easy to get penalties there, but I feel like the cone here at Auto Club is just so poorly placed. <sighs> oh, my God. It needs to be down pit road a little bit further. That's what I get for yeah. being a good guy. be behind the wall, too. Please there, bud. Sorry about that. I forgot. Oh, my. Oh, a lucky dog. Oh, a lucky dog coming around. Coming Unbelievable. Showtime. Is it a pass-through or an end-of-line penalty, JW? Black flag. Must enter pit road under the green flag conditions. That sucks. Yeah, it does. Oh, man. It is what it is. Yes, it does. But look, I don't clear them for anybody else. I'm not going to clear them for myself. Remember this night, two months from now, when Joe Racecar Driver, oh, you might need that cleared. I ain't going to do it. Not going to do it. Yeah, I, Buster, <laughs> a top five did look very possible right there. Looks like you should be lining up behind the Very, one. very possible. But it is what it is. I should have never went below the cone. Wheeler, you ain't got no damage, do you? I got a little bit. I don't think it's hurting me much, though. All right. Let me tell you something. They knew the 21 car was here tonight. They knew it early on. Had a good qualifying run. Had a good opening part of the race. And we were making some noise late. We sold some t-shirts today out in the Radio check. souvenir hauler. Three, four, one, two, three, four. Can you hear me? Yeah, they knew we were here tonight. Radio check, Earl, can you hear me? Yes, sir, one to go. Should be on the inside, boss. Get behind the 51. All right, so what I can do is diver down pit road here, serve my penalty, hopefully there's a big wad up, and come out and finish better than 18th. Yeah, you, you're right, Vaping, you're right. You're right. And that's what I... I'll buy out your merch hauler. I appreciate that. They'll stay open uh, 45 minutes after the race. All right. Gonna have to get one of those orange diecasts. Just delivered earlier today. 
Yeah, that's all right. Don't worry about it, Vincent. It's all right. Vincent is a racer kid number nine. It's all good. All right. Uh, my man, clean him off, tighten him up. Be ready for going green this time. No, you know what? I'm gonna race it. I'm gonna race it. I'm gonna finish the lap down. Green flag. Leaders running 43.268. I'm not being scored, so right now I am a lap down. I'm gonna have a little bit of fun. Still there. Clear. This is our FE, oh my, SimRaceCity.com, I'm sorry, SimRaceCity.com, white flag lap. Working the bottom inside. Woo! I don't know if that was Rev or West Poly, one of them hit the wall. Man, no pressure on the back. The gap is 1.7. That's what we're about to do. That's there on the end. I just kept getting used up, so I held it to it. So, sorry. Whew. Yeah, two cars, you slid up on me. I was up against the wall, and there was no room for you. Man, that was terrible. Tell me about it, Chad. Yeah, I know. Well, I figured we'd both just snuggle up there. <laughs> sorry about that. You're good. It was a good last lap. Hmm. Nice win, Cody. Thank you. Fun race. We got to go watch uh, the final couple laps. Good you, win. you saw it on Flying Aces cam. I did not good see win. it. That's a fun race. Hey, that'd be a thanks. This was a fun track. It is, Bobby, and you are more than welcome. Just to prove how crazy those overtimes were, I went from dead last in the first overtime to seventh on the last one. That is pretty dang awesome, Vincent. It really and is. That's why it was better for the race to go green. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Chaos yep. ensued. I wish yeah. I did. I probably would have still finished in the same Look, spot. I may go with that. I like the old uh, orange. I, I love it. Uh, let's go back here and watch this replay of a uh, lap 70... 70 uh, Let's see, are we restarted here? Yes. All right, so Cody Burke, Greg Gunther, James Lowe, all trying to chase down... She blew up. <laughs> Joe Francis. I'm almost there. Who was my I'm pick to click, by the way. It put it... it drop it in third gear. This is the final restart. I dropped it all the way down to first. They had mine in third. Francis gets a little loose. I think James Lowe came up to him, took the air off his nose. JW, once again, I'm sorry for getting you that penalty. Don't worry about it. Do not worry about it. It's all good. Look, there will be more races. There will be more races. JW, when you get a chance, you got to see uh, Jesse Cottrell's wreck on lap 71. Copy will do. May need a medic. Lap 71, the Godfather. They are wrecking behind us. Look at John Creighton right here in that 33. Trying to make some I'll take noise. Credits, Wilmer. Tim Four on that. And congratulations on winning that. And Greg, thank you again for the prizes. We do have a random draw coming up soon. Cody Burke is our race winner. Cody Burke is the race winner. Just simply put the car. Got that penalty. I thought we were going to get to race it out to the line. Yeah, that's that's the way it goes sometimes. There'll be other nights. There'll be other nights. Guys, gals, Cody Burke. I was one row behind race you winner. when you got that penalty. Let's go. I tell you what we're going to do. I'm going to go try to find. 
We're going to see if we can see them on the replay. The fireworks. Yeah, you said we're having a spring break till Wednesday, right? Yes. We're not going to see that. All right. No, I'm, I'm out of school until Wednesday. I'll be back racing on Monday night. Oh. Uh, yeah. JW, you got to rewind that and see uh, everybody wrecking for a second across the line. Yes, sir. I was wondering where what happened. We'll certainly Are you check going to that. Martinsville, JW? I mean, not Martinsville, Richmond. No, not going to go to Richmond. Martinsville still being debated, though. Never been, but I just wish the racing would get better first. Yep, that's me too. All right, he's gonna go park it in the dark, I believe. Let's get this 20 car. Although that's a good-looking victory lane. It's not gonna make for a great race-winning photograph because it's so dark. Let's get him back out here in the daylight. Right there, we're gonna spin that unit around. That's gonna be our race winner, Auto Club Speedway. Which no longer exists in, in this form. Let's just try to find a perfect photograph. Right there we go. I think that's going to do it. I think that's going to do it. Cody Burke simply put his car where the others were not and grabbed that race win. I... I I don't know if it was intentional or not, but it looked like he was just letting everybody else figure things out and knew he would have an opportunity coming to that last lap. Outstanding job right there. Cody Burke, driver 20. Let's go back and look at our... Uh, for the race for P2. And here it is. It's still hotly contested with James Lowe. In second place, trying to chase down Cody. They're on the back stretch here of the final lap. Let's see what happens. Tell you what, let's go back about right in here. Winkle Specht. Maybe go up here to Gunther. David Griffin. Here's Greg Gunther. Wow. Wow. Wow, that was crazy. That was crazy. That was nuts. I agree. That was absolute nuts. So they're wrecking behind. There you go. Now, to be fair, you know, you see some drivers right here uh, diving their cars high, uh, namely James, uh, James, I'm sorry. Um, crap, hit the wrong camera. Joe Francis. It is so hard to tell here at Auto Club who's on your outside. So when Gary Donlin said earlier he had no idea I was down there, I believe that. It is difficult to see here for whatever reason. And, and, and Joe is looking at this 33 car only, and he sees that gap right there in front of him. He's going to try to take it to get around. And I think Guichi had a similar idea as he's trying to get around James Lowe. And here's what happens. And, and that leaves Greg Gunther. That leaves Greg Gunther right here on the high side, able to slide through right here and take P3. Outstanding job. Congratulations, Cody. Let's take a look at our top 10. Uh, first of all, I want to give a shout out to Billy Sigmund over there on the bottom right hand part of the screen with, with Flying Aces Cam. It is much appreciated. Uh, let me go ahead and turn that off. We'll clear the screen real estate here. There's that. And we'll turn off uh, uh, right there. We'll turn that box off. Our top ten tonight, boys and girls. Of course, Cody Burke is our race winner. Uh, John Creighton. Time out. Let me take down my standings. You cannot see them very well through my standings. There we go. John, uh, excuse me. Cody Burke is our race winner. John Creighton finished his second. A good run there in that 33 car. Greg Gunther, likewise, in, uh, uh, in that 93 machine. Joe Francis in fourth. Eric Winklespecht in fifth. James Lowe does finish in sixth. Had a great car tonight. Vincent Guichi, likewise, great car. Uh, wound up in seventh place. Bobby Johnson with a heck of a good run there in eighth. SimRaceCity.com driver David Griffin up to ninth place. And uh, the dirty one. That's Dirty Dan Taylor, everybody. Brought that Pennzoil Chevrolet 
uh, to 10th place. Uh, looking at the prizes tonight, uh, myself and Timothy Wheeler, two Fords duked it out. Uh, Wheeler got me. Uh, so we'll give that to Timothy Wheeler. Let me go ahead and type that up. He, he told me he would like a race credit for that. We'll go ahead and put that on his account. And uh, a random draw, a random draw here for anybody on the lead lap. We're going to have 17 cars on that lead lap. Gary Donnellan was the final car on the lead lap. All right, let's go out and, um, heck, I can probably, no, I cannot. I cannot put anything over iRacing. It will not show on my screen. So I do need to put that back up. We'll say congratulations one more time to driver Cody Burke. A uh, outstanding job. Uh, let me go ahead and get things set up here. Pull that background screen. We'll exit out of iRacing. Cody Burke, our race winner tonight. Just a stellar job. Hey, look at that, boys. David Griffin, everybody, gifting a channel membership. Who is the lucky recipient? That's the question. Uh, Busy Child was gifted a channel membership. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. And Trappin' Diablo also gifted well, a channel membership. That. New channel member. Thank you. Doing it for Dale right there. Couldn't say it better, Spasm. Flying Aces TV cam, you are the best. That's a fact. That is a fact. All right. Uh, let's get a, a random draw done here. Again, anybody on the top, on, on the top, on the lead lap is eligible for this. Uh, we had no dedicated prize for any specific finishing position, so everybody on the lead lap is uh, eligible to win this. Let me get things set up here. I'll show you the standings. And there they are. We'll get our random number generator all set up. Bring that over here. Bam, should be right there. Yep. And here we go. 1 through 17, everybody. Somebody's going to walk away courtesy of Greg Gunther. It's not 15, it's 17. Courtesy of Greg Gunther, somebody's going to walk away with a $5 prize. Boys and girls, that goes out to that driver that finished P2 tonight. And, of course, we know him as John Creighton, the good doctor, John. John, if you would let me know how you want that uh, $5 prize, please let me know. We'll get that to you as soon as possible. And John Creighton wins that prize. I want to thank Greg Gunther for putting those prizes up. Always fun to to race for something. And, and me personally, I like the odd stuff. I, I like the, the random draws. I like the two drivers versus each other. Uh, P17, lap 17. I can go on and on. Uh, those are some awesome prizes. We'll pull that down and get everything back ready to go. All right, uh, looking ahead here, uh, tomorrow uh, my wife and I are going to uh, go camping and um, uh, through Easter weekend. Should be back, good Lord willing, on uh, Monday evening here to do some eye racing. I think if I'm able to get back in time, I'll, I'll tweet stuff out on Monday and let uh, those interested in racing let you guys know that if we will be able to race or not. Uh, shouldn't have any problems. We're only going about 45 minutes away, so uh, shouldn't be a problem uh, getting some racing going on Monday evening. But, uh, man, a good time tonight. Uh, enjoyed the crap out of that Watkins Glen race. I really thought, I wished I had uh, saved enough fuel on the last three laps. I just, I went too hard. I went way too hard. And after not going extremely hard the entire race, I decided that I'm going to burn it down the last three laps, and it cost me. It cost me that top 10. Had 30 drivers at Watkins Glen this evening. Boys, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. But uh, anyway, we'll continue to experiment with the rain stuff. And uh, I, I know it adds an extra element of, of suspense and, uh, and uh, strategy. I, I enjoy it. I do. Uh, but we'll continue to play with that and see what we can come up with and try to make uh, that feature, iRacing Rain, that feature... Uh, as fun as it possibly can be. I'm loving it so far. But, uh, hey, loved Auto Club this evening. California boys, that track, man, that track, that track, it's uh, it's something else. It's something else. Uh, we don't have a specific, you know, I heard, I forget, uh, I forget who it was. Someone said we need to run this uh, every time we can. Certainly don't want to burn people out on specific tracks. Lord knows we run a lot of Michigan. We run a lot of Talladega, some Atlanta. Uh, you know, we do mix it up quite a bit. But uh, we, we do, and sometimes I just forget about uh, California, where it's not on the cup schedule anymore. I kind of forget about it. So we'll we'll do our best to keep that in mind. Uh, California is the place you ought to be. So we'll load up the truck and move to Beverly. Jed Clampett. Ladies and gentlemen, until next time, thank you very much for tuning in. Please stay safe out there. Happy Easter to everybody. Hopefully 
Uh, you, you celebrate Easter for the true meaning of it. And until next time, race fans, please stay safe. Good night to each and every one of you. And may God bless you. Take care, everybody.